Welcome to the Sage 50 US edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to install Sage 50 accounting on the server computer of a Windows network. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to install Sage 50 on a computer that hosts your Sage 50 company data, share the folder that contains Sage 50's data path and define user permissions, and activate Sage 50 and check for updates. Before installing Sage 50, it's a good idea to make sure that your computer system is properly prepared for the installation. To learn tips that will help ensure a successful installation, view the Sage 50 installation tips anytime learning topic before you install the program on your server. The installation tips topic will quickly walk you through preparing your system for a successful installation, including comparing your system with Sage 50 system requirements, verifying that you have the required local administrator login rights, and configuring antivirus and firewall softwares so that they do not interfere with the installation and program functionality. Once you have prepared the server, you can begin installing Sage 50 Accounting. The program's installation package can be downloaded from the Internet. To begin, click the Download Now link provided with the download notification email sent to you when you purchase the program. This email also includes the serial number that you will use during installation. The Download Now link will open your web browser and display the download portal page. You can access this page directly in the Sage 50 Knowledge Base by searching for Article 64650. On the Download Portal page, Click the Download Sage 50 Accounting U.S. Edition 2016 link. Doing so will open the 2016 download page. Next, select to download the Sage 50 2016 installation package. The download process may take several minutes. Note that the installation package is a single executable that when run will extract the necessary setup files for installation. Also be aware that only one installation package is used to install any edition of the program, including quantum accounting. After the download is complete, browse to the download location. This is usually your downloads folder. Double-click on the installation file. A window will display asking you where you would like to extract the setup files that will be used to install the program. Note that the destination folder should not be where you want the program installed. You will be asked for the actual installation location later. Click Install to extract the setup files. After the files have extracted, you may then be prompted to install additional system updates that are required to run the program. Don't skip this step, otherwise the installation will not continue. Let's click Install. After the updates have been installed, the Sage 50 installation wizard will automatically start. This installation wizard will guide you step by step through the installation process. Click Next on the Welcome page. Agree to the license agreement and then click Next. At this point, you may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected. Firewall programs running on the server must allow Sage 50 and its helper programs to run without restriction, otherwise the program will not function as designed. Always select yes to this message. Doing so will instruct the Sage 50 setup program to automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow Sage 50 files to communicate properly on your network. Click Next. If you have a third-party firewall, such as Zone Alarm installed, an additional firewall settings page will display. This page provides steps to follow to properly configure any third-party firewall programs you may have running and lists detected firewalls. In this demonstration, the Zone Alarm firewall installed on the server has been detected. Although the setup can automatically configure Windows built-in firewall, the wizard cannot auto-configure third-party firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should enable the alert system of additional firewall programs before continuing. With alerts enabled, your firewall will prompt you the first time a network-aware program is installed or run on the server. When you receive firewall alerts during the installation of Sage 50, always select to allow or unblock installation and Sage 50 program files as they are run for the first time. 
you can learn more about configuring third-party firewalls by viewing the Sage 50 installation tips anytime learning topic. Let's click Next. The wizard then searches for a currently installed version of the program. Now the serial number window will display, asking for a serial number. Enter the serial number provided to you when you purchase the product and then click Next. If you are upgrading from a previous version of Sage 50, an Upgrade Options Wizard page will display. If Yes is selected on this page, the next page of the wizard will be the Summary page, where you can simply click Install to upgrade your existing program using its current installation location and configuration. If you want to run both versions side by side, select No and click Next to configure Sage 50 to be installed in a new program files location in a new company files location. Note that two editions of the same version, for example Premium and Quantum 2016, cannot be installed on the same system. If you need to run two editions of the same version, you can do so by using a toggle feature included with your Sage 50 program. This feature allows you to toggle between multiple editions of Sage 50 within a single installation of the program. If you are not upgrading, the installation wizard will display the Single or Network Options page instead of Upgrade Options. Here, select whether you are installing Sage 50 only on this computer or if you plan to share the Sage 50 company data on a network. We plan to share the Sage 50 company database with other Sage 50 workstations on the network, so we will select No and then click Next. On the Sage 50 Company Data File Storage page, you are asked if you want to store the Sage 50 data files created for the company on this computer or if another computer on the network will host the data. In this demonstration, we assigned this system as the network server, and we are hosting the company data files on it. So let's leave Yes selected and click Next. On the Choose Sage 50 Program Files location page, you need to select the location that the program files should be installed on this computer. This location must be a local hard drive, preferably your C drive. It cannot be installed to a MAP network drive or an external hard disk or flash drive. If you are installing on a server using a 64-bit version of Windows, it is recommended that you define the program files location in the Program Files x86 directory on your local C drive. Let's leave it set to the default location and click Next. The Company Data Files location page will display. Earlier, we told the setup process that the company data will be hosted on this computer. Now we need to select the specific folder location. This folder will be used to store your company data folder as well as sample companies and Sage 50 files that are designed to be shared between companies, such as tax tables and report files. This folder is commonly referred to as Sage 50's data path. By default, the data path folder is named Company. We'll leave this set to its current location and click Next. We have finished configuring how Sage 50 is to be installed on the server and a summary page displays where our selections can be reviewed. If necessary, click the Back button to change any of the previous selections. Otherwise, click the Install button to begin the installation process. A setup status window will display, providing a view of the installation process. In addition to Sage 50 accounting, programs installed at this time include the Pervasive Database Engine, which is used to manage your company database. It will be during this portion of the installation that you may be prompted by your firewall to allow or block one or more of the files listed on this window. Always allow these files to run unrestricted. Your firewall may also prompt you to permit other files to run that are not listed. Allow these files to run as well. Once the copying process is complete, another window will display, providing you with an opportunity to share the Sage 50 data path folder on this machine with the other computers that will access the company database. To share this folder, Let's click the Share the Folder button. This will open Windows Explorer with the folder that should be shared on the network highlighted. Right click on this folder and select Properties. Then select the Sharing tab. To share the folder, 
click the Advanced Sharing button. Check Share This Folder, then click the Permissions button. All network users that will be accessing the Sage 50 data on this system must have full rights to the shared folder. On the Permissions window, we'll highlight everyone and select Full Control. Now the internal system user needs to be given full access to the shared folder so that Pervasive SQL communicates properly. Click Add. Enter System as the object name. Click Check Names to validate the new name. And then click OK. Back on the Permissions window, give full control to System and then click OK. Now click OK on the Advanced Sharing window, click Close on the Properties window, and close Windows Explorer to return to the Sage 50 Installation Wizard. On the Installation Wizard, take note of the information it shares and click Next. Once the installation is complete, you may be prompted to restart the server to finalize the installation. If this prompt displays, make sure you restart the system before continuing to set up the program. Otherwise, the Installation Completed page will display. Leave Activate and Start Sage 50 Accounting checked and click Finish. A HTML page will display with customized instructions that walk you through using the Network Installation Manager to install Sage 50 on your network workstations. During the installation, the Network Installation Manager files were copied to a shared folder on the server and includes a custom installation script that makes installing Sage 50 on workstations a simple process. These instructions are accessible from the Windows desktop and can be copied to a USB drive to take to each workstation on which you will install Sage 50. For steps on how to use the Network Installation Manager, please view the Using the Network Installation Manager Anytime Learning Topic. Close the Instructions page and Sage 50 will open in the background. As Sage 50 starts for the first time, additional firewall prompts may display. Make sure that you select Allow on these prompts, otherwise Sage 50 may not function properly. A product activation prompt will appear as the program contacts the Sage Activation Service to activate your server installation. Click OK on the Activation Complete prompt to complete the activation. You can verify that the program is activated by selecting Help on the main menu bar and then About Sage 50 Accounting. If your customer ID and Install Tax Service information is displayed, then the program is active. On this window, you can view other important information about your installation, including the addition of Sage 50 that was installed. You can also view the program's build number, the serial number used to install the program, and your plan level. After activating your Sage 50 product, you should check for recent program release updates and for payroll tax service updates. Select Services from the menu bar and then Check for Updates. On the Check for Updates window, you can configure the frequency that the program will automatically check for recent updates. As a tip, you can set this to five days during the month of December so that you can stay on top of critical updates that may be released at year end. Click the Check for Updates button and follow any steps that the program provides. If updates are available, you will be walked through a series of steps that will include downloading program and tax service updates and then walking through steps similar to the installation wizard that will update the program. In this demonstration, there are currently no updates available, so we can click OK to return to Sage 50. With the server installation complete, the Sage 50 data path shared and available on the network and the program activated with the latest updates installed, you can now install Sage 50 Accounting on each workstation that will be using the program. For more information, please view the Installing Sage 50 Accounting on a Workstation and Using the Network Installation Manager Anytime Learning Topics. This concludes our look at Installing Sage 50 Accounting on a Server. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning Topic. 
you have learned how to install Sage 50 accounting on a computer that hosts your Sage 50 company data, share the folder that contains Sage 50's data path and define user permissions, and activate Sage 50 accounting and check for updates. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.